always available, always commercial free. What a beautiful painting, Olivia. I think I'm done with my blue period. All with a new name. Nick Jr. It's like preschool on TV. Blue's Clues enhances preschoolers' problem solving and metacognition. Moose here. Pinky Dinky Doo is coming up next. But first, it's... Puzzle time! Let's look for some lovely letters. In this game, we need to find the letter B's that are hidden in this picture. What does the letter B look like? Behold! The letter B can look like this. We call this Big B. Or it can look like this. We call this little fella Little B. Those are some beautiful bees. Can you spot any more? There's one. That's a big bee. Bingo! In other words, you're right. We'll look for more bees when we come back. Now it's story time on Nick Jr. Hi, I'm Ross. I'm Nula's dad. Nula's four years old and she loves to play outside. She's really into flowers and slimy things and especially bugs. That's why she loves this story, because it's about a little bug named Stu. The Stink Bug Blues. Stu was a funny fellow, red, green, and slightly yellow. But his stinky eau de goo made it tough for little Stu. P.U. Hearing ick and ew and ugh took a toll on such a bug. So he joined a beetle band to sing his blues across the land. Fishtail breath and rotten cheese, Stu sang about them all with ease. His odes to sludge and slop and slime turned fans on to gook and grime. P.U. Their bug rock band was a hit till those beetles up and split. While they loved Stu's raucous romps, they were sick of playing swamps. P.U. Stu was happy all the same, moving on to solo fame. He topped the charts, made headline news, crooning those old stink bug blues. Well, I hope you like the story, Nula. I can't wait to read to you some more. Read with your kids for 20 minutes every day and inspire a lifetime love of learning. Today on a brand new Fairly Odd Parents. Hey, it's me, Jimmy Turner. You're never going to believe this. The fairy world may be gone forever. No Cosmo one and Pooper power. Seriously, can someone please explain what's going on? And to save them, I have to convince the world that fairies are real. So brand new, very good parents. And I'm running out of time. Can Timmy Turner save fairy world? Find out in The Last Wish. The brand new Fairly Odd Adventure premieres today at 4. Immediately followed by the world premiere of Brain Search on Nick. We're on the lookout for the letter B. Can you find any letter B's in this picture? On the butterfly's wing. There's a little bee up in that tree. And there's a bee on that man's hat. Wow, you found three more bees. Let's uncover the rest when we come back. Nickelodeon celebrates Hispanic Heritage Month. This is Tito Puente. Tito is a musician. He made mambo music. Tito played piano, clavis, and saxophone. And the timbales. Tito made mambo music with his hands. Escuche, listen. See these trophies? Tito won trophies because his music sounded so good. Tito was called el rey. That means king. He was the king of Latin music. Learn more about Tito Puente and find great Hispanic Heritage Month activities at parents.nickjr.com.
never know when an outing with your little sweetie will turn sour. So I keep a tantrum-taming bag of tricks handy. That way, I'm always ready to stop my little angel's next monster meltdown. This Nick Jr. Nugget has been brought to you by the Mr. Men Show on DVD. Hello again, my observant amigos. Moose here. We're on the hunt for the letter B. We've already discovered a few. But there are still more bees that are bound to be found. Do you see any more bees? I do, on that bug. And there's a big bee on that sign. Oh, I see a little bee on the baboon. Unbelievable! Just one bee left. Who can spot it? There it is on the backpack. Bravo! You found all of the bees. You are one lively letter finder. Pinky Dinky Doo is up next. Moose Moose here. My fine feathered friend Z and I have some nifty news. In fact, we are delighted to say Noggin is now Nick Jr. Hooray! Take a bow, Z. Come on along. There's so much to do. Today I'm Nick Jr. just waiting for you. I'm so excited, I can hardly wait. Today is stupendous. In fact, it's playing great. Today is a day I'll learn something new. And I am quite certain you'll learn something too. The kind of a day one dreams about. Full of shapes, colors, letters, and numbers to count. Come on along, there's so much to do. Today I'm Nick Jr. just waiting for you. It might just be the greatest day ever. It's got places and faces. It's even got weather. We plan to sing songs and Z will smell flowers. Me, I'll draw drawings for minutes, no hours. There'll be a story, three if there's time. Before the day's over, we'll be rhyming some rhymes. Come on along, there's so much to do. Today I'm Nick Jr. just waiting for you. Come on along, there's so much to do. Today I'm Nick Jr. just waiting for you. Pinky Dinky Doo enhances preschoolers' early literacy skills, including comprehension, vocabulary acquisition, and their understanding of narrative elements. Pinky Talk! Here, Jack's big music show is coming up next. But first, it's puzzle time. Let's play a memory game. First, we have to find two pink flowers. If you see a pink flower, tell me where it is. There's one. You got it. Where's the other one? It's right there. Fantastic. You found both flowers. Now, remember where they are. Because when we get back, the game is going to get a little bit tricky. She's rescued the mermaids, found the lost city, and saved the snow princess. But on November 1st, she'll face her greatest challenge yet. Dora! The Crystal Kingdom's losing its color! Nickelodeon presents a greedy game. The crystals will always be mine, mine, mine. A friend in trouble. The last colors in my world are fake! And a brave explorer who will stop at nothing to save a storybook kingdom. We've got to go into the stories to get all the crystals. Get ready for an epic adventure full of wings and wands, crystals and courage, dragons and Dora. Dora saves the Crystal Kingdom, a primetime movie premiere, Sunday, November 1st on Nick.